How far would you go for enlightenment? Westerners have long been drawn to the spiritual mystique of India. While many find what they're looking for and return home, some vanish without a trace or even end up dead. If we got a call today, he's not going to be the same person that left. To be honest, maybe it's better off if you don't get that call. I'm Caroline Slaughter, the host of the new podcast, Astray, where we investigate those who pay the ultimate cost in search of spiritual awakening. Listen to Astray on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about uh, four minutes after the hour, it's the Strawberry Letter. For today, the subject post-Valentine's Day drama, but right now, the nephew (laughs) is in the building. He's here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Nev? The title is Gene, I Got You Girl. Gene, I Got You Girl. Come on, cat dog. Hello? It's me, the Gene. Yeah, what's up? Who this? My name is Vernon, brother. What's playing? What's going on? I need to holler at you for a minute, my man. About what? I want to holler at you about your wife. So you got a minute? Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, I don't even know how to break this to you, dog. I just want to be straight up with you, man. Me and your wife been kind of seeing each other. And uh, really, she want to let you go, but she ain't, you know, she really ain't got it got it up in her to say she want to let you go. So uh-huh. you know, I'm coming to you like a man and letting you know, you know, that... uh. She really wanted to shut it down with you. We've been seeing each other for a minute now. Uh-huh. So I don't know how we can, you know. I'm just coming at you like a man, brother, trying to let you know she don't even really want you no more. You know, we, right. we done talked about it, talked about it. And uh, I'm just trying to get it all I know. I'm tired. Right. I'm tired of hiding with it, really. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, it's a lot smoother than I expected, player. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, long long as you, long as you cool. I, I thought you know, I just want to be a man, call and holler at you and let you know. Have you seen her today? And where you from? From Jersey. I'm up around Newark. I mean, you said it's a lot smoother than you thought it was gonna be. Well, you know, anytime some another man from the call another man about his wife, I mean, yeah, you don't expect it to be nothing, you know, pretty simple. That's for sure. I mean, that- I didn't contemplate it a long time by calling you, so I, you know today I just said to hell with it. I'm now, how you get my number? No, I've been had your number. I done had your number a long time. All right, now you say you looking. Um, it's a lot smoother than you thought it was gonna be. It ain't that smooth, but you know. You don't. Like, you know, like the, the the thing is, you got one up on me because you know my information. Now I gotta come find you. Okay, wait, 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 hold up now. Good. You feel like... Oh, no, I don't need to hold up. You uh, tell me what you want to say. Okay, you feel like you need to be looking for me or something? Yeah. Brother, look, look at him. Let's check this out. This is a decision that the wife has made. You understand what I'm saying? See, you have no reason to be mad at me about anything. You have no reason to be coming looking for me or any information on me. Because, see, when that happens, then it's going to really get stanky up in here. And I'm trying not to let that happen. That's why I'm calling you like a man, brother. Trust me, man. It ain't nothing that I'm never worried about. Okay. Well, I'm just letting you know, man. I'm letting you know up front. She, we, me and her contemplated a long time, yada, yada. So now, you know, here we are. So I said, you know what the hell with it? I'm calling today. Y'all should have did this on the phone together. I'd have respected both of y'all a lot more. Okay. Well, you know, and, and then, you know, if, if that's what it's got to be, we'd be face-to-face together, whatever it's got to be, man. So well, that's what I prefer, you know. Okay. So, but but let me ask you this here. Where is going in? Once we both stand flat-footed and tell you how it is, then what? I ain't, I ain't going to never be flat-footed. Okay. Well, 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 flat-footed or upside down, any way you want to look at it, bro. I'm trying not to get into this physical part, but it seems like you're leaning that way with me. It could be whatever, you know. It could be on this side of the dirt or the other side. It don't make a difference. It, it, it never does, brother. It never does. When two bulls come together, one of them got to go down. Now, guess what? We ain't doing too much talking. You got my information. Guess what? Now, I'm lock loaded and hunting for you. You lock and loaded? Well, there's no need for you to say it. There's no need for us to discuss anymore. Okay, cool. You know, mind if, while, while we at it, man, let me go and drop it all on you then. Because it seems like we need to go and get it all out the way. You cool? Right. You know what I'm saying? I think you need, you know, matter of fact, if you want to just keep it all the way real, you might want to go take a blood test about Alana and make sure you the papa to that. All right. Feel me? Got it. 
So uh, I'm going to have your wife give you a call, man, because we didn't contemplate it too long, and it's time. You do, yeah, you do that. You know my information. Like I said, you, you said enough. You hit enough bones there. Now I'm really locked over and hunting for somebody. So you know what? I mean, somebody got to go. What you like mean? You. Wait, 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 wait. What was all this somebody got to go? What, huh? you, what you saying? Somebody got to go. Somebody got to go. Like, okay, you talking about either me or you? One of us got to yeah. go? See, see, because you're saying the wrong thing. Because what you must understand is if I've given you as much information as I already have, that means I have enough information to know where you are, brother. You know yeah. nothing about me nor where I reside. So if you're going to talk about lock and load and somebody got to go, then you're saying it to the wrong person because I'm already up on you, player. At, you first got to... off, you do... At first off, you ain't really a north because you got a country accent. So second off, like you're dealing with a real street, so however you want to handle it, you know my information. Guess what? I don't reside there no more. I ain't there no more. So guess what? Now you got to start from scratch like me. So I tell you what, man. On, boy. Here go the math, man. You ready for that? You ready for this math? You ready, What's player? Here go What's the, the math? math. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You've been pranked by your wife. I'm a killer. <laughs> Yeah, black man, chill out, boy. You you, you kind of had me scared for a minute because you really wasn't flinching. You Whatever you eating over there, you never did stop eating on it. Oh, I ain't going to stop eating. <laughs> I'm going to keep eating. So um, I listen to y'all every morning. What's the baddest radio morning show in the land? The Steve Harvey Show. <sighs> That one is that so was chilling. a real no, like Tommy, that real was, guy, was, real yeah, gangster geez. guy there. Yeah. I, Tommy, that was Tommy. Geez. I was scared huh? for you, Tommy. I was. He, <laughs> he was. He was gonna do something to you, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, gonna, yeah. yeah. I felt hurt while he was talking. I yeah. felt pain coming. He, I was like, okay. <laughs> I was, hey, player, I was saying to you myself, want all please of it? tell him it's a joke, quick. Just hurry up. Man. <laughs> Hey man, yeah, you, hey, hey man, you wanna you you, you wanna keep it all the way real? You probably need to get a blood test for little Alana. Yeah. So yeah, he, he said right there. He said right there. You crossed the line now. He said yeah. Somebody yeah. got to go now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See. So not, and he said, tell me, he said he don't live there no more. So I'm looking for you. That was checkmate right there. That was yeah, a checkmate it was, for me. Jay. Yeah. I'm still. Uh, scared. Jay, I actually got scared, Jay. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> You know, right now. Yeah, I'm you, still When your heart starts pumping and you say, you know what, this is not something I shouldn't have, I shouldn't see, have done. But Tommy, see. <laughs> you ain't from the north with that country ass. With that country ass accent <laughs> you got. You ain't no north side blankety blank nowhere. <laughs> but see, what you don't know I'm is you messing with a real. Boop. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, was, that was scary, Tommy. That was really scary, man. Oh, and yeah. the fact that I know he wasn't afraid of you, he never yeah. stopped eating. He yeah. never. Right. Because most people put their food down to make a point. He was now, eating Jay, now, and Jay, making you was, points. Well, let me ask you something, Jay. You was listening. You was listening. And what was he really eating? What was that? What? I don't know what it was. <laughs> but he was able to keep his mind on his food and you at the same yeah. time. And he didn't miss a beat. He I didn't miss a beat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Some shrimp oh, and broccoli or something. Yeah. Uh, well, I made it through it, and uh, he's okay. Yeah, he's you not did, looking man. for me. He's not wanting no, to do something looking. to me. But he sounds like uh, a guy that don't let the joke go, though, Tommy. He does sound well, no, like that no, guy. But let me tell you this, Jay. After we got through recording, I did stay on long enough to make sure. Are you and I, are, are we cool? Did he are laugh? Are you he, cool? Did he ever Do you need smile? anything from me? You know, did he ever do you need an smile? autograph? Book from Steve, whatever you need, uh, I got that. You know, you what need saying? Steve just, to call you or something. Yeah, just, that's my but nephew Tommy, playing. You know, whatever you. Need. Did he ever crack a smile? Did he ever like? Never up once. A bit? Yeah. Never. You, it, it, you know, like when we got off, he's like, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna let you make it. You know, but you know, oh, hey, you, live. you know, you messing with, with the Tommy. wrong one. You know, hopefully Tommy. I'll see you though, Tommy. With hopefully black I'll man see go. you. I'm like, well, uh -huh. what, what do that mean? Hopefully you'll yeah, see me. What is? <laughs> when a black man go, uh huh. Uh-huh, 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 I hear you. He's just bringing, he's just taking in information. He ain't afraid of nothing. Yeah. Like, and I know a uh -huh. neck bone when I hear one. No. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know what he was. was shrimp and broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, nephew. Coming that was up, good, Tommy. <laughs> we got the strawberry letter subject, post-Valentine's oh, Day drama. Dumbest letter you ever heard when we come back right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
Hi, this is Bill Clinton. Please join me on my podcast, Why Am I Telling You This? Now, why am I telling you this? Now, why am I telling you this? For conversations with some of the most fascinating people I know. We'll talk about ideas that deserve more attention, about how science, technology, and design are improving our lives, and about why we should be hopeful and optimistic about our future. Listen to Why Am I Telling You This on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject, get a load of this, guys. I like big butts. I cannot lie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll my get into of that. <laughs> yeah. We'll get into that a little later. Right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? Well, we're still in black history, so we're going to shed a little light on it. This right here is Johnson's Freedom Papers. Johnson oh. <laughs> Freedom Papers. Yes. Let's go, Cat. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Franklin Franklin Johnson, please. Uh, yeah, this is him. Franklin, uh, how you doing today? My name is uh, my name is Kyle Kyle Green. I'm with the uh, uh, immigration department of the state of uh, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, how could I help you? Now you were you were born and raised in Tennessee, am I correct? Yeah, born and raised in Tennessee. Okay, now uh, do you do you still live in in the Tennessee area now, or are you in a different state? I'm right in Memphis. Still here. All my family, all the Johnsons, he's still here living good. Okay. All right. So here's what's going on. Um, it's been brought to our attention here at the immigration that anyone in the state of Tennessee who has the last name of Johnson, um, I, and I don't even know how to break this to you or tell this to you, but it's, it's been brought to our attention here at the immigration that anyone in the state of Tennessee, last name Johnson, for some reason, and we're going to fix the problem, but for some reason they're saying no Johnsons are free. You know, like there's some clause or something and some paperwork or whatever, but what we need is we need all the Johnsons to come in by 6, to, by six o'clock today so we can try to take care of the problem. If not, if, if all Johnsons that are not reported in by 6 will have to get picked up. Uh, I know this is a joke. Like, we, we've been – I know this is a joke, baby. I'm free. What are you talking about? Like, well, uh, you call me talking about – you talking about the Johnsons ain't free. What are you, what are you talking about? Since you saw Bumpy Johnson go for the arm, everybody's attacking Johnsons now? Uh, no, sorry. This is this is a real – this is I, – I know this is a, a crazy to get a phone call like this, but like I say, it's – it's, we got some paperwork here. Everybody's scramming around trying to get to the bottom of this. But bottom line is we need all the Johnsons to come in because uh, right right now in the state of Tennessee, no person with the last name of Johnson is free right now. Hey, get the f*** out of here. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you black? Yeah, I'm black. But, but yeah, I, I'm black. Are, are, are you free? Yeah, I'm free. So what are you talking about coming to me talking about since my last name Johnson, my family got to come down to immigration because we ain't free? Who the hell are you calling me talking about some crap like that, man? Okay, sir, the, the, the pro- we're going to fix the problem, but we need all Johnsons to come in. We're going to fix it. Who are you, the head of, paper- you the head of the census or something? I, I'm, I'm sorry? Are you the head of the census? Oh, no, I'm not. Or something like that. Like, why are you calling me talking about Johnson? This it, you are some Uncle Tom ass calling me talking about Johnson that we ain't free, and we got to come down and, and you you're threatening my family. This guy, I'm not, I'm not, sir, I'm, sure, I'm not, something. I'm not, sir, I'm not, I'm not threatening you. All right, like I said, my name is Kyle Green. I'm with immigration. I'm just trying to fix the problem. You know, so you I don't. You want... me because your name is Green. So y'all so I, came no. all the way down to the Johnsons. Sir, I'm not saying I'm better than you because my last name is Green. I'm saying we yes, have a are, problem. Kyle. You are so saying that, Kyle, Mr. Green. My name is Johnson. We come from a long line of Johnson. And don't let me have the bumpy Johnson on you because you saw how he was cutting my throat. Oh. Don't play with me. Oh, 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 okay, sir. Can we? Uh, I want to help you and I want to help all the Johnsons, okay? You ain't helping Let's nobody get... but yourself, Mr. Green. You Uncle Tom. I saw y'all life in Django. The house smoke. Okay. 
I bet you on them light skin, green eyed Terrence Howard looking mother. Thank you. Are those good hands? I'm black not, and ebony. I got a wide nose, and I'm proud to be black. And they gonna have your lights and ass for me. Talking about bring my my family down there. You got some god <laughs> for nerve. It's all oh, this oh. tribalism amongst us. Oh, sir, can I expect you to come down to immigration at six o'clock? Kyle sound like, Kyle sound like a light skin mother. <laughs> Kyle Green. Oh. That sound light skin. Oh, sir. Can I get you to come down to immigration by nah, 6 o'clock? No, you cannot have me come down. I'm going to come down there with my god a whole bunch of Johnsons, and we're going to turn it up. Okay, so is, 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 is your wife last name Johnson, too? Don't worry about what my wife's last name is. Don't try to set her up. Okay, is your is your mother still living? Don't worry about my mama still living. You don't have to. I'm about to hang this god on up. You question you 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 done crossed the line, you light-skinned mother Okay, okay, sir. All I know is that, you know, we got to, we were trying to get as many Johnsons as we could to come in. Tommy, Tommy is the one that told us to call you. Okay, Franklin, that's who told us to call you. Who? Tommy said you, you probably want to call Franklin Johnson and get him on the line because he, you know, a lot of the other Johnsons and you can get them all to come in. That's what hey, Tommy no, no. said. What you think? I, you think I'm that motherfucker that's going to round up all the Johnsons? That's how they came over from Africa. It was one black motherfucker that got took them all of the boats talk about they was going on vacation, and they came all the way over here. I'm not rounding them no god Johnson. And who the hell is Tommy? Tommy, man. Tommy said you would do it. T- Tommy said you would be cool with it. I don't know no god Tommy. He sound like him, too. Okay, do you know Do you know nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Do you know that motherfucker? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got my blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Oh, man. Hey, Franklin. Yes. Hey, Franklin, take this out, man. Your boy J-Rob is the one that got me to prank phone call you, man. <laughs> oh, he ain't he ain't allowed over to the barbecues no more, man. Was he a whiskey? Was he, was he, was he drinking some of that whiskey when he called you, man? That mother- I don't know what he was when I called him, bro, but... He wanted me to make so he prank Franklin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you got to tell me this right here, Franklin. Give it to me, baby. Franklin Johnson. You got to tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Show with Nephew <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> Really, yes. Tommy? You went man. there on him. Oh. Hey, Tommy, but you know what, though? Like but, Tommy, green but, Tommy, but, but Tommy, but Tommy, <laughs> but Tommy, he had you shook up a little bit, though. Because yeah. he, he sounded like he had you off balance a little bit because he was serious with it. Yeah, uh-huh. Bumpy Johnson when he said Oh, okay. Johnson. Oh, you think I'm going to round up all the Johnsons? I ain't that blankety blank. <laughs> See, you light like skin, ain't you? <laughs> you, you probably one of them light skinned Terrence Howard yeah. looking ass boy. Green eye. <laughs> boy. Green boy. With good hair. <laughs> boy. Boy, he was mad. He was hot. Kyle mm-hmm. Green. Sound light skin. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey man, is your is your wife last name John? Don't worry about my wife. That's is right. your mother still? Boy. See, man, you done cross the line now. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yes, Tommy, sir. He was gonna come <laughs> down it. there and yeah, be he was. bowed it. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Need all the Johnsons uh-huh. to come down so we can get these papers together. But y'all, y'all not free <laughs> yet. About that life. <laughs> Hold up, man. <laughs> Is you black? Yeah. Oh, so you done got your Uncle Tom ass. Now you gonna round up. Whoa. See, that's you that, that you was on Django. He, he was, he, right, right, he right. Had yeah. all, he, yeah. all his reference was light skin, Terrence Howard, mm-hmm. Django. Mm-hmm. You a house in. You a Uncle Tom. He had Tommy, he was through with Tied you. Yeah, yes, he, he was. was. He was. He really Nephew, was. Nephew, happy Black History uh, Month. Yes. Black History, Stop. baby. Yes. <laughs> happy Black History to everybody and all the Johnsons out there. Happy Black History. <laughs> all right, Nephew, thank you. Coming up, Strawberry Letter subject. I like big butts and I cannot lie. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. At what point must we become a monster? in order to catch one. From iHeartRadio. 
comes a mind-bending new original sci-fi thriller. Tomorrow's Monsters. It's a safe application with one very simple benefit. You never have to sleep again. Starring John Boyega. When he began self-experimenting with his own mind apps, it changed him. And something else has taken over. And Darren Chris. We don't do what we do simply because we love humanity. We detest the weakness in them. Tomorrow's Monsters. Available now on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Coming up right about four minutes after the hour, um, as always, it's my strawberry letter for today. Uh, The subject is, I don't think we're really cousins. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. We'll get into it. Don't worry. We'll get into it. You don't want to be. You don't want (laughs) to be. All right. We'll get into it. But you know you are. (laughs) But right now, (laughs) the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? I got Repo Man, Shirley. I got Repo Man. Everybody's had a repossession at some point or another in your life. You had something. You walked outside in your driveway and it was gone. You know that. <gasps> it's happened. It's happened. Already you walked late. out there and like, what? I know good and doggone well I park it right here. Repo Man. Let's go, cat dog. Hello? I'm trying to reach a please. This him? How are you? My name is uh, Robert. I'm with the... Uh, Collection agency, you do own a uh, Sierra 2003 GMC truck, am I correct? Yep. Okay, we don't show that we've had any payments uh, within the last, I guess, about three, close to four months now. And we want to try and stop having to come in and repossess it. Maybe we give you a chance to uh, bring your payment in, but we haven't had a payment from you in about four months, sir. No, I didn't want to pay my truck, because I had tax and financial along with the other, uh, the other bank. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember them no more. Yeah, I've been paying all the time. It's direct deposit from my account. I ain't worried about that. Well, uh, I'm with they've they've turned you over to, to us. I'm with uh, collection agency, and we haven't gotten anything from. I don't I don't show any uh, any paperwork here on the computer at all that we've had any payments made within the last four months. So that's why they. No, I've been paying it. And I, don't, I don't know how they turned it over to y'all without my permission. They can't never turn my my uh, my tires and my truck over to y'all and pay y'all. I don't even know y'all. Well, I understand that, sir. What happens is if you haven't paid it in a certain amount of time, it actually comes over to the collection agency, and that's what they've done. They've actually sent it over to us, uh, and they've given us uh, pretty much all the information on you. I guess it's a a goldish type of color uh, Sierra 2003 GMC truck, from my understanding. Am I correct? Yeah, that's my truck. Okay. Uh, Now, what I'm going to need from you today, Jeremy, is for you to come in uh, and make a payment to us this evening for four months so we can... So we don't have to come in and repossess your truck. And I don't want to have to do that. But I, if I have to send a wrecker out there to you, I have your address on file as well. I don't want to have to send anybody out to pick it up. Hey, hold on, partner. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Y'all not coming in my truck, and I'm not paying y'all for, for no four months. I've been paying my truck no all time every month. That's a done deal. Sir, I don't want to get in a back and forth with you, but I'm telling you exactly how it's going to go. Now, I'll come out there and repossess it myself. But I'm telling you. Hey, um, look, 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 partner. Slow down. Look, that's not that's not even on where we gotta go with that. Don't be. You don't need to be screaming and fussing and, and chaotic and come get it yourself and all that stuff. You ain't on my truck. My truck. That's gonna be that. All right, wait, 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 hang on. Let's back up because I'm a man just like you, man. What do you mean it's gonna it's gonna be that? What are you saying? What are you what are you what are you saying to me, son? I'm I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. No, son. Look. I'm telling you that I, I, I pay my truck note, and, and that's a final. I, I don't know. I don't know who you is. Well, let's get. I, I've already stated to you before. I'm with the agency, and let's get one thing straight. You don't tell me. I tell you. Now. Hey, calm, you, hey, hey, dude, calm down. We're on the phone. It, it don't make no sense talking, you know, all over the phone and whatnot. You can come You can come get the truck. My truck right here at work. I'm right here. You can come, you can come try to get my truck. You can come over here. Sir, I'm already aware of where you work and the whole nine yards. Now. I don't. I'm, I'm trying to be as uh, cordial with you as I can. Now you can. You not being cordial. You talking about coming get my truck when I tell you I be paying my. Shit. So you know you should have dropped down and be like, all right, I'm gonna check with somebody else and check with somebody else and make sure I'm I'm right and then call me back. I'm telling you, you haven't paid anything. That's what I'm telling you. I've got it listed on the computer. You've been turned over, shit agency, and you haven't done it. You haven't done a thing. Well, you stupid. You, you, you raising your breath, screaming and hollering over the phone like that, there, because that ain't going to do me or, me or you no good. But you ain't getting no money from me, and you ain't coming f- my truck. Well, matter of fact, you could come f- in my truck. 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to be at my truck and I'm going to wait on you. What time are you going to be there? It doesn't make any difference, sir. You're going to get repossessed tonight. If I don't get four months payment, bro, definitely. If I don't get four months payment brought into me, the collection agency, your truck will be taken care of. Oh, before... Hold on, hold on. Listen, man, hold on. If I get that with me, you kind of, kind of serious. Go f*** my truck. Hey, let's stop screaming at me over this phone, partner. You quit <laughs> cursing at me. That's what's wrong with you, man. What? Man, you got me twisted. Look, look, my truck parked right outside. You can come over here and get it. I'll be sitting on there waiting for you. Look, you know what? I'm at the point I don't give a about this job. I'm ready to come kick your That's what I'm ready to do. <laughs> Call him back, Kay. <laughs> I don't need a little scared f- hanging up the phone. You stand here like a man and you handle your problems. Hey, hold on. I, I'm at f- work. I can't be dealing with that f- man. I'm, I, 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 I gotta go back to work, bro. You stop calling my I'm phone. At, I, I'm at work too, doing my job the same way you're doing yours. Hey, well, well make your money. Do, do your job. Come get the f- truck. I got one more thing I want to say to you before you go. Are you listening? No, I'm listening. What you, what you say, partner? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by <laughs> 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 here. Ah! No, you got you got all my teeth trembling. <laughs> man, Cause, cause, uh, uh, man. Are you are you all right, man? <laughs> no, I'm not all right. I'm on, I'm on top of this roof, man. I'm, I'm talking to my cool. I'm upset. <laughs> you got me about to jump on this. To get to <laughs> she told me, oh, she told man. me, man, she said, that boy love that truck. Yeah, that's my truck, man. I love my, that's my, my only transportation, man. That's too much for the work. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, man. Oh, man, you got my picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it, bro. You got it pretty good. <laughs> hey, I got to ask you, man, tell me, brother, what is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. Oh, no doubt. Steve Hall and Marley show. <laughs> <laughs> did I you get it? What? Yeah, you did. He sounded a little bit like Junior to me <laughs> when he got really I think mad. If, I think if I remember, he, I think he knew Orleans. I think he Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. What you think, Steve? <laughs> well, I understand where you're coming from. I've yes. had a car mean that Here much comes to get me, my truck. especially when I lived in it. Uh, <laughs> not only was it your transportation, it was your home. Yeah. And they was looking for it too. Mm, mm. So you had to park. How many times you been? How many, you been repo before? How many times you been repossessed on? Uh, just once. Now how many times you didn't dodge? How long have you dodged it? Two years. Let me ask that question. Two years? Oh, you were skillful. Two years. I lived in it. Yeah. So you had to park somewhere different all the time then. I catch a bus home. I had a bike rack put on the back of it so I could park it somewhere and ride the bike home, <laughs> then ride the bike back to it, <laughs> go to work, park it somewhere else. You do better paint it, dog. Ride my bike God, over there. No, I ain't had it. No wonder you were in shape. <laughs> oh, I was outstanding. Oh, that was and, and back then, Shirley, black people, they had no bike rack on the back of their car. <laughs> You were very creative, Steve. <laughs> Dog, I parked at a friend's house. Uh huh. Wake uh-huh. up, couldn't remember where the hell my car was. <laughs> Dog, you gonna come get your car to the driveway so I can go to work? Oh, I done went to the wrong house. Oh. <laughs> wow, Steve. Wow. What was all in there? What well, did you have whole, in you? I'm just a, I'm a close and stuff. I mean, you know, just a little stuff. Uh huh. I was, I was I was just financially wasn't fit then, but when I lived in it, uh-huh. I just drove out of state. Good luck. <laughs> mm. And wow. you know this was before you had all you had to have was license plates. Mm-hmm. They hadn't come up with the sticker system yet. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, okay, wow. So, well, I so was you your was wow. your plates? So was your plates really your plates, or that was they Sometimes. plates or something? <laughs> That mean exactly, I know, but what well, does it I mean? had like three Ohio tags in my car. <laughs> <laughs> so, even if they did find the car, it made so you have three different the license car. plates you, in the car. You, you, like, you if I stole tags. gas, uh huh, and I think they saw me, uh huh, I go a little bit and change the tags. 
Okay. Uh, wow. Let's get out of here. Um, <laughs> we'll be back with more of the Steve Statue Harvey limitations up show. on all that, Shirley. Don't even this worry is why you it. can't hold no public office I or know. nothing, right? <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> Strawberry letter coming up. I don't think we're really cousins. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. So what does a running back do after his playing days are over? Hey, this is former NFL star Mind Green. For me, I started a podcast. Each episode, I bring the world of competitive gaming and esports to life with my podcast, Mind Green's Gamers Lounge. I'll bring my experiences from being a collegiate esports head coach along with interviews with the top video game streamers, gamers from Hollywood, social media, and pro sports. Listen and follow Amon Green's Gamers Lounge on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. All right, coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject, I'm stuck between a sister and a brother. All right? Uh, But right now, Junior is here for the nephew with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Junior? Well, today, Shirley, it seems that the nephew has left us a prank phone call, and the subject is surveillance. There it is. Surveillance is what we're talking about. Okay. All right, here you go. Run it, cat. Hello? Uh, yes, I'm trying to reach a please. Yes, sir. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a Mrs. Uh, please. Who's calling? Hello, my name is Officer from the Connor Police Department, Narcotics Division. And you, and where is it called from? Police Department, Narcotics Division, ma'am. My name is Officer Okay, this I'm giving you a call. Um, there is a possibility, I'm, I'm wanting, trying to get the particulars with you. Uh, you have two sons. Do you have a one and uh-huh. Okay. Uh, there's reason to believe that there is some narcotics going on with these two gentlemen. No. Now, I wanted to speak with you about it. My understanding is that you're over the crime watch, actually, in that particular area. Yes, sir. And uh, I know that uh, here lately there's been um, camp. Hello? Hello? Uh, hang on the phone. Go ahead. I'm, I'm here. It's my understanding you guys have. I know you've put surveillance cameras up. Uh so you can actually get a general area of what's going on, am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. Where has been within the last week? Because what we've done is we've um, put somebody on them and watched them very closely, and we're wanting to know from you, because I understand that you are the person over the crime watch, what's going on with your two sons? Well, sir, for one thing, I don't allow drugs to from my house, period. I don't, I don't even allow that because I am the head of the crime watch. I don't even allow people to even come back here to buy drugs. Okay. Okay. Now, I know some, some kids that's mad at my kids. They were calling the cops to my house, coming to my house and throwing rocks and everything. But I can assure you, sir, that's one thing I do not play. I do not allow people to even come back to my house. Okay. Now, are there surveillance cameras, ma'am, that are uh, pointing in any area like in your back? That's... We haven't really activated it no more. Okay. Where, where exactly were your cameras pointing? What angle were they? Uh, towards the road. Towards the road. Uh-huh. All right. Is there anything in the uh, in the backyard area of where you are? No. Okay. That's the only one we had. All right. Here's what's going on. We're actually, and I'm going to just be completely honest with you, Miss. There's a possibility of a raid coming in there because we truly believe that are having some type of contraband in that house right there. Can you just hold on for a minute, sir? Sorry. Sure. Hello? See if you can get that tech in here for Hello? me, please. Hello? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, have you spoken with or your Sir, let me tell you one thing, okay? I will bust a if I don't even allow to come back to my house at all. I don't play that I'm the head of crime watch. I think all they need to go get a job and, 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 and stop messing up their damn life. That's, that, that's what's wrong with them, okay? And I don't play that, and, and, and I don't appreciate that. Okay. Uh, are, are there two boys there right now? Yeah, they're here. Can I speak with those guys one by one, please? Do you mind if I do that, Miss? They don't want to come to the phone. Nobody wants to talk to the officer of the law, huh? <sighs> uh, what do you think, Miss? I'm going to try to handle this as diligently as possible. Do you think I should come out and speak with your boys there at? No. I'm trying to avoid a raid happening. No, you ain't going to avoid because I'm avoiding my damn self. No, I'm trying to avoid a raid coming to your home, ma'am. That's what I'm trying to do. I want to call and talk to you sensible and see if I can get some things rectified here. Because right now, it seems like 
it shouldn't. It should, the camera should be actually pointing at your back door or your backyard so I can see what's going on there. That's what seems to be happening here. Okay. Well, do what you got to do. You know, but I'm going to go f- they f- up. Okay. Uh, well, before you do all of that, can we permit, pretty much let, make sure that we know what we're talking about? Do you think that they have contraband in the household? No, I don't allow that in my household. Okay. I'm a Christian woman. I don't allow that in my household. Have you beat these children before on this particular issue? Have you had problems with them in the past on this? No. All right. I don't. I, I, I'm just trying to square it up as quick as possible. I don't want you going through and being stressed out about this particular issue. But I know that, from my understanding, you're supposed to be a law-abiding person, and you're I'm trying. Very to... law-abiding. Very. Right. And very. You... I care very much about my community, and that's why I do not allow these things in my community. And if they're doing it, trust me, I'm going to be on as soon as I hang on this phone. Well, I don't want you to hang up just yet, because I got a couple more things I want to talk to you about. Because if you need me to come over there and bust some well, with you, I'll well, do. Come it. and bust some. Yeah, I need that. Come bust. And I'm going to help you bust some too. Okay. I got one more thing I need to say to you. Are you listening? Yes. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You, you just got so pranked. Fast. You got pranked by <laughs> and Oh, my goodness. I'm going to kick Dave behind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that because I take that very serious. Uh, they told me. They told me you are about cleaning up the community, and they better not be nowhere around there selling no dope. And, I mean, all they got to do is look at me, and I stare at them, and they uh, automatically leave. And that's, that's a good thing, though. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to get you back. No, you can't get me. Now, you can get <laughs> You can get them. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> and here I'm, like, nervous. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. You re- look, you, I, I ain't want you to get off that phone because you finna go beat them boys. You- oh, God, that's right, because that I do not play. <laughs> you know, I am not about to have no cops run up in my house. Ms. We need more people like you in the community that's making sure that we ain't dirty up the neighborhood. We need you, baby. Thank you. There you go, baby. So I ain't got to ask you who you're voting for, doing. No, you don't. Well, darling, you keep doing what you're doing. I got one more thing to ask you, though. What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show Steve in the land. Steve Harvey, Tommy, <laughs> Caller, and Shirley Strawberry. <laughs> 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 Snuffy play too much. Okay. Ooh, that woman was upset. One, she was hot. one day. Yeah, she rightfully so. Playing with her mm. poor kids. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Surveillance. That's the yeah. one we have for today. But mm-hmm. what are you saying, Jay? Ted Cruz the genius that surveillance? plays too much. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. Ted saying. Cruz. Uh huh. I heard. Ted you. Cruz. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ted Cruz could have used surveillance. Probably still would have been here. He's so he stupid, could. man. Dude, and he tries now, to but... cover. He's yes. so. He's the most pathetic. You know, man, I'm going to tell you something, man. He had that big old bag, Steve. Talking about I didn't like Donald day. Trump, mm-hmm. but I really don't like Ted Cruz mm-hmm. because he, I mean, you know, he just, he tried to act like, at least Donald Trump just laid it out who he was. Yeah, you knew who he right. was. Right, right, exactly right. Who he you was. Knew Donald who he was. Trump, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Cruz is a hypocritical, coward-ass liar. Liar. <laughs> I mean, right. dog, he used to be man. Trump used to call him. Remember, lying Ted Cruz. Oh, yeah, man. lying Ted Cruz. That yeah. was the only thing Trump was right about was Ted Cruz. <laughs> and you knew he was lying when he said in the interview yeah. I got on a plane. He did an interview with a local TV station in Houston, mm-hmm. and he said I got on a plane, and then that's at that moment that's when I knew right. that I made the wrong decision. If no, no, that don't sound like a lie, yeah. <laughs> yeah. what well, you're you got on, on the plane, plane chilling, and he was yeah. chilling so hard on that my, plane. What was about to use, Carla? My girls was cold. It, what the whole city of Houston was cold. Every, yeah. The state the of Dallas was cold. Was cold. <laughs> yeah. Yes, San Antonio was cold. But you sure had a big old bag when you came back for one night. If you was just going yeah, down there was, to take the girls and turn yeah. back around, only staying for one night, but. He Girl had a couple stop. of pieces of luggage. Girl, stop. That big old bag. Keep pulling the Only for a couple of pieces. Night. <laughs> Not Lula. <Lula-la. laughs> and his family's still down there. They show pictures I of his wife on the beach. I won't so. No sing. one has <laughs> to let's, know. Let's let him go. <laughs> mm-hmm. no. If you want to be. Totally discreet. Mm. 
folks. I'll be at your side <laughs> if only for one night. All right, strawberry letter up now. You nailed Stuck it. between a sister and brother right after oh. this. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Got any plans this afternoon? Check out People Every Day, a new podcast from iHeartRadio and People. We'll break down the day's most talked about stories, bring you exclusive interviews. We had a free throw shooting contest, and Amal made 17 free throws straight and beat us all. And introduce you to real people who are making a difference in their communities. Listen and subscribe to People Every Day on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject is, my brother's mistress is my girlfriend. Oh, wow. we'll get into that a I little later. Wait. I can't yeah. wait to get to this letter. <laughs> Marinate on that. But right now, it's time for the nephew in today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? Let's do a little shoplifting before we get to that uh, letter. Just a little bit of shoplifting. What? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Still? Some shoplifting. That's right. That's the title. Let's go, cat dog. Hello. Uh, yes, I'm trying to reach a Tanya, please. This is she. Uh, hi, Tanya. Uh, my name is Daniel. I'm the head of store security here at your job. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm trying to see. Um, I'm gonna have to. I know today's your day off. I'm looking at the schedule here. It seems that you don't come back in until Saturday. Um, I'm trying to see if it's possible I can get you to come to the store. There's a bit of a situation I want to discuss with you. There's about $1,800 worth of merchandise missing from the store. What? And, yeah, there's about $1,800 worth of merchandise, and we definitely know that this is a in-house situation. This is not someone walking in shoplifting. This is definitely a, um, an in-house situation uh, with employees who have evidently been shoplifting from the store taking things and we want to get down to the uh to the roots of the problem okay uh, so what you calling me for well ma'am it's uh it's been brought to my attention that there's a possibility that you may be uh, yeah. uh part of this situation and part of the situation i ain't no thief i don't steal you don't call my house accusing me of stealing i ain't stole nothing from no Body. Okay, well, my hang on, man. What I'm trying to do is just trying to to hang on, my. Ass. You trying to say I done stole something and I ain't stole the thing. Okay, wait just a second. Now, here, do you have a sister named Cynthia? Yeah. What about her? Well, now, it seems that well, here on some of the footage that we have on camera, that uh, it's a possibility that it seems like your sister is actually wearing some of the merchandise that we sell here in the store. And okay, just because she wears something that we sell in the store don't mean that I stole it. Well, we don't see where she's at. I, I, I backed the footage up as far as I could. I don't see any footage of where she purchased this particular merchandise. And my assumption is maybe you gave it to her. I ain't gave her shit. And just because you don't see where somebody purchased it don't mean that it's been stolen. Okay. Here's what I'm going to get. I'm going to just get to the chase of this, Tanya. What I'm going to have to do is this. If I can't get you to come to the store, man, and matter of fact, here's another question for you before I go any further. You have children at all, Tanya? Yeah, I got children. Why? Do you, is it possible, because uh, I'm missing a lot of baby merchandise as well. And You know what? You know what? You really cruising for an this morning, okay? Because well, you don't call somebody on their off day accusing them of stealing. Okay, here's what I got to do. Uh, uh, are you coming into the office so I can talk with you? I'm not coming no where on my off day. Well, then what's going to happen, Miss Tanya, is I'm going to have to actually come to your home, check your closet. I'm going to have to check your kids and see you if they're do what? check and see if they're wearing merchandise that you that comes from this. Come to my house if you want to, and they're going to take your ass up out of here in the body bag. Excuse me? me? You heard what I said. You heard what I said. You don't call nobody. I bust my ass at that store. I bust my ass at that store. You understand me? I work hard for y'all, okay? You, you've, so you been busting, here, you've been busting. You've been busting. You call here accusing me of stealing. I ain't stole from nobody. You, I don't have to steal. That's why I work all day. You understand me? I think you've been and busting your butt day. taking stuff is what you've been doing. You've I been. 
from nobody. You understand me? I do not steal. I'm going to come over there. I'm checking your closets. But it ain't no thief. You understand? And I'm checking your babies as well. And I'm making. You check my babies and see what happens. You put your hands on any damn thing in here and see what happens. Okay? I don't want to have to drag your butt. Drag? Oh, you're going to drag somebody? Oh, now you threatening me? I don't want to drag you out of your house. Security guard. You're a tough security guard. You like your job that much? You willing to die for that? Huh? Who said anything about me dying? I did. Come over here, and that's what's going to happen. That's what happens. When you f*** with people on their off day, you get hurt, okay? I get a couple of damn days off, and y'all going to call me with this b****. So are you threatening me now? I'm threatening you. Didn't you just call and say you was coming over here? Yes, Bring I did. Bring your over here. Bring your I, I'm, don't. Bring your security guard. I'm Bring on my b****. Don't look. Let me Bring tell you something. Okay? I can have you. I can have you brought up on charges. You know that. Bring me up on charges and see what happens. That's Bring it. Bring me up on charges. See if you get that far. I'm on my way over there now to check you and your kids. You understand me? Come over here to check me and my kids and see how they check their ass up out of here. Let me tell you something. I, you I, ain't got I, to tell me. You ain't got nothing to tell me. You ain't look, got look, nothing look, look. else you, to tell why, me. Okay? Why don't, you, why don't you go ahead and tell me what you took? Maybe I'll go light on you. I'll go light you on you. You think I'm stupid or something? You don't sound like a damn fool. Why don't you tell me what you took? I ain't took I bet you're teaching your little kids over there how to steal, too, aren't you? What? What you teach your little ugly kids? Hey, 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 hey! Now, you will hey, not... Hey, 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 my Hey, don't call me with this bull on my off day. Let me tell you one more th Are you listening to me? I got one more uh, thing to say to you. You ain't got nothing else to say to me. Are you listening? What? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked from oh. your sister Cynthia. Oh, okay, okay. So you and that bro want to play games, okay? Y'all want to play, right? Y'all got jokes. Y'all got jokes. I got a joke for both of y'all, okay? Well, I'm around here taking care of her and all her little ugly <laughs> kids, and she going to play with me and my off day? Hey, All right. Tony, she All told right. me. She told me. She said, uh, "That Tommy be be pranking people. You can't nobody get me with that old crazy stuff. How come them people don't know somebody calling and tripping with this?" She told me you couldn't. You thought you couldn't be God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all right. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Uh, it's all good. Honey, you it's be all good. Well, I love you. Be I not love you, nephew Tommy. <laughs> I got something bug like. <laughs> all right. Let me ask you one more thing. What is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. Give me tell hey, me. Man. Give me tell me. Hey, hey, Tommy. Tommy, you know what uh, I hear a lot of on your tapes? What's when that? you be What's When you prank? be pranking the people, the dude to be on the, that work the board for you, that controls oh, the yeah. phone calls, Cat, yep. he be uh -huh. in the background hollering like <laughs> Yes. Cat yes. be tickled. Uh -huh. Cat <laughs> be back there hollering, man. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, man, uh, she was adamant about one thing. I don't steal. Yes, right. right. That's why I work. I right. don't steal. Yeah. You, 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 know, you ain't finna check that. I don't steal. Uh-huh. But you cruising for a blanket whooping. Go on, go on, go on, go on tell me what you did. Just tell me what you did. I go light on you. Is you a fool? <laughs> right. <laughs> you think, what you, what tick I want you going to tell me what you took? I, you, <laughs> boy, she was so mad at you. Like, you going to talk to me like I'm stupid. Well, I'm why don't you just go and tell me? Hey, Tommy, that was slick ass level. Why don't you just go and tell me what you took? I go light on you. Mm-hmm. Not the confession. What? I bet you're teaching your kids to steal, aren't you? Uh-huh, baby. What are you teaching them ugly-ass kids of yours? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tommy, she stung your ass with that one. Oh, man. She stung she you with that ignorant. one. She was ignorant, boy. Love her. Uh, she love really was. Her. She was Wait, good. I see my sister black hair. I got something for her. <laughs> and she's babysitting her ugly butt kids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Good one. Good one. You like, and Steve gonna, should reenact it real quick. Yeah, we're gonna take. We're gonna bring one of your kids out here to the store or something. I don't know. I could have went a little further. Come on, Steve. Well, who you want me to be in the reenactment? The you woman. be the lady. All right, you go ahead. Late. All right, I'm ready. We may have to bring your kids down here and all their clothes in there. You wait, 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 wait. You gonna bring whose kids? Where? <laughs> your, your kids. We're gonna bring your kids to the store. Oh wait, well you talking about Rollo spanking, Lisa? <laughs> 
If those are you your come, kids, man. You come up here and get air one of RLN and see what happened to your ASS. <laughs> we got to go, guys. Thank you. Uh, my boyfriend's mistress is my girlfriend. That's the subject of the strawberry letter. Back after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 